Welcome back to Budget Stuff, Save, Repeat. I'm Melissa. Um, thank you so much for being here. You guys see what we're doing. We're staying consistent and we are going to keep moving to stuff um, these three challenges so that we could save $15,000 in one year. So um, let's go and jump right into this. I'm excited. Um, let's go. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 47, 49, 50. So that's $503. Why do I have an extra $3? Um, I'll just remind you guys that $500 is what I pull out every two weeks when I get paid from my blow money. And I do that to save because in the past I was just blowing my blow money with no intentionality and I would save about a thousand dollars a year. I found um, the hundred envelope challenge and I was able to save that 5,000 and then last year I did it again for 10,000 and so this year I was pushing myself to do 15,000. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I am trying to put together a video to kind of show you guys why cash is working better for me and not digital. Um, I think I think I might have a visual so that you guys can um, see why I'm still on this um, cash journey because I'm just noticing my habits and I'm doing what works for me, but I kind of just want to give you a visual so that you can also see like, why is she doing this? So, um, this $10,000 in 52 weeks, um, I'm just moving along from the bottom to the top and I'm going to stuff 175. I bought these little sleeves off of Amazon, nothing fancy. And, um, Oh, here, let me, nothing fancy, and I just made the labels on on the, um, the little stickers on here myself. I really do like the 100 envelope challenge, and I actually miss it. So I do think I will return and do it again. Um, but for this year, I just wanted something different. So 150 for the next one. And this is just a fun way to save money. It's something I look forward to on payday. Like, oh, let me go to the bank and pull out what I need for um, this challenge and, um, specifically. So this is the one that was supposed to be my main focus, even though it seems like it's going slow. I'm okay with that because I knew this would take me a year long to do. So I just... Like I said, got this off of Amazon. It came in this little container and I just throw it in here just to keep it going. Okay, and this tracker I got off of Etsy from OV Creative Studio. And this stuff is always linked in my um, description box. So this is the rave this year. Nita's um, Save 2024 dollars in 2024. I love this challenge, it's so it's just vibrant, it just makes me happy. So I got the extra $3 from doing a survey on Cash App. They sent me a, a, a text and um, I use Cash App. And I'm like, sure, the survey was like less than two minutes to do. You didn't even, I didn't even get the $3 on the same day that I did it. They had to make sure that my answers seemed like they were valid. And then they sent me $3. So I just pulled it out and I decided to add it to this. Um, and I, for this, I was going to stuff $75. So now we're stuffing 78. And I know I can do four. I can do 15, 17, 22, and then I'll do this 24. And I just want to thank all of you who gave me color suggestions. Uh, I will tell you the winner was green. And in all honesty, I had, before I even recorded that video um, the last time, and I was saying, what color should I do? If you have any suggestions, put it in the description box. I was already playing around with shades of green. Um, because I have the colors. Um, some people said yellow and I did like that, but I just, I don't have enough shades of yellow to make, I like the contrast. So, um, I couldn't really go with yellow. Of course, my girl D from D's bankroll said purple and D I was very tempted. Um, but I don't know. I, I think for summertime, I like the greenery. I like how everything is, um, in full bloom. I love seeing 
the grass cut, <laughs> you know, once everyone goes out and cuts it and how nice and fresh it looks. So we are going to start in um, with our green. So this will be shades of green and I think it'll look really nice and just, you know, remind me of the summertime. So we'll start there. And for this challenge, I don't count it because at the end it should be $2,024. So I just take it and stuff it in here. Um, and I use this sometimes to make change and um, so it's been nice to have that around. But because this challenge um, was lower this week, I was going to naturally be able to put $100 in my traveler's um, notebook, which is nice because this is from extra money or when um, my two in here are low. So I couldn't go up and do 225. It just wasn't enough. So we'll put the extra 100 in here, which I love because I am one hundred dollars away from being at the halfway point in this challenge so that is really really cool and then I just keep tracking it with these little stickers this was um such a great find from playing with Ly Layla Blue all right and that's all I have for you guys I will insert right now the winners um of my giveaway so I do the monthly um the monthly challenges and in that challenge, um, if you write the word um, March, cause that was the last one that I did, it's the month that I'm doing the stuffing, that is the buzzword, then I give a $25 giveaway. So I will cert the winner for March. And then also my winner from February did not claim her prize. So I'm going to redraw for February and I will insert the winner here. So I will be, um, doing those monthly challenges in April and um, the video, I'm not sure. It will probably be like the second week in April. And if you watch that video and you leave the word April in that video, I will have a hint and the word is April. I'm telling you now, um, you can enter the giveaway and I will have another drawing. So I thank you all for being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye.